In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply CSS to a button, how to style it in lots of different ways, and we're going to use a contact form submit button as an example, and we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you learn WordPress better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. With that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture so we can start styling that submit button right away. I'll see you there. To change the CSS of a button, what I'm going to do as an example is a submit button for a form, which is most commonly used as a button. And what we have is on this page here, basic contact form 7 form. At the very bottom, I have a button. It says, get instant access, and it's gray background, default styling, very ugly. And over on the blog, I've got a post where we have code to style nearly anything on contact form 7. I'm just going to copy this first one, which is the submit button styles CSS. It's going to copy that. And what we're going to do is put it into the theme options panel for this website. So I'm running the Divi theme on this site. If I go to the theme options under general, at the very bottom, it has a custom CSS section. If your theme has a theme options panel as well, it could have something similar. I've linked to a video down below where I've gone through three different themes and three different ways to find where the CSS goes. So watch that video if you don't know where to put the CSS. Hopefully one of those will work for your theme. If not, leave a question in the comments below and we'll try to figure it out. So what I'm gonna do is paste that button CSS right into here. And what the CSS is saying, really quickly, it's saying select the input field. If you don't want to use uh, this button as an example, you can use anything else. So if, if we go back to the form and we inspect this element here, we can find the class for that element. So that is the label element in the overall WPC WCF7 form class. So we can use classes like this to select elements that you want to apply this code to. Uh, for the for input buttons, you always want to have type of submit because that selects the the, uh, the submit button. So for, for the submit button, what we have here is the padding, 15 pixels on the top and the bottom, 45 pixels left and right, background color of red, text color of white, font size of 30 for the text, font weight of bold, no border on the button, the cursor is to be a pointer when the, someone hovers over the button, and there's a web compatibility radius, border radius of 5 pixels, and a regular border radius of 5 pixels. And this is the styling for a button. I'm going to click these changes and show you what this looks like. Head back over to the form, and if you remember, it was this gross gray down here. If I refresh this page now, we have a nice flashy button that looks much, much better. That may not be how you want it to look, but if you go in and use the selector to select your button properly, and you can either use this code as a start or you can put your own CSS code in there, you can make that button look however you want it to. And that's how easy it is to style a submit button and any button in general, these styles can apply to any button. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. If you want some free WordPress resources, click that card that just appeared up in the top right. And until next time, keep crushing it with WordPress, and I will see you in the next video.